Hi everyone, this is James McKenzie with VirtualMacOSX.com. Today we're going to be looking at how to connect your Mac OS X desktop to your hosted Mac environment, hosted with VirtualMacOSX.com. We're going to be using the built-in screen share application that is located within Finder on Mac OS X. So first thing we're going to do is go down to a dock and open, open the Finder app. Here we have the Finder app. Make sure it's active so that the menu indicates that Finder is active. I'm going to go click on Go. Scroll down to the bottom where it says Connect to Server. We're going to use the host as an example, mm.vmosx.com. Be aware that this is just an example. Your host will most likely be different. So be sure to enter the host information that was sent to you in your login and welcome email. Okay, so we're going to use mmvmosx.com. We're going to connect. So we're going to enter username and password that's provided in your intro email. Make sure everything is correct. Can at this point click to remember password if you want to forego that step in the future. Click sign in. Now it's connecting. And now here we have the remote environment login screen. So at this screen, we're going to again enter in our login information that was provided same login information that we used in the first step password is the same as in the first step as well and a couple things to be aware of here is that if you get an incorrect password or authentication failure be sure that your caps lock is not accidentally on. If the caps lock is on you'll see that there'll be a small up arrow indicating the caps lock is on. This will cause the password to be entered incorrectly because it is um, uh, upper or lowercase sensitive. So we're going to turn caps lock off again and this little upward arrow will disappear. And then another thing that to be aware of is that in the upper right hand screen you have the keyboard encoding which could also be incorrect which causes authentication errors so in this case we have it set to the keyboard encoding for uh, US keyboard which is good for me US or Canada will work for me yours may differ depending on your region your keyboard and then after that, we're going to either click on the arrow to enter or hit the return key. At this time, we will be logging into the environment. As long as the password is correct, you will now be in your environment. And you will have a full desktop as if you were sitting in front of your own Mac computer. So. From this point, uh, you can proceed with any of your tasks that you require. At the end of your session, it is recommended that you use the Apple logo at the top left hand of the screen to log out. Be sure not to shut down because then the environment will become inaccessible to you and all other users. So just choose to log out your user and you can choose to reopen Windows when logging back in, or you can deselect that if you don't want the Windows to open when you log back in, and just select Log Out. That will take you back to the login screen, and that will ensure that your time, if you're on a time-limited plan, does not get used without your input. And that is how to log in using the built-in screen sharing application on Mac OS X. Have a great day and we hope to see you again soon.